For many people, the plants, animals and habitats of the barn are its prized asset, representing a biological diversity par excellence from both an Irish and European perspective. The elusive gentians and cranesbills, the delicate orchids and avens, presenting a tantalising palette of shape, colour and texture. Moths, martens, feral goats and falcons, melding into the landscape and testing our vision and our patience. And all the time about us, the limestone pavements, the ever-changing torlocks, each in turn embraced by delicate woodlands and heaths. Remarkably, the Borden region contains over 70% of Ireland's native plant species. Borden grasslands and heaths are a veritable who's who of Irish botany, embellished with species of Arctic, Alpine and Mediterranean origin, all of which have adapted to secure an existence on this limestone outpost. Unusual habitats, such as limestone pavements, turlocks and petrifying springs, also contribute to this diversity, each with their own unique suite of flora and fauna, resulting in an ecological wealth which has captivated generations of students and admirers keen to explore and enjoy one of our finest semi-natural landscapes. Limestone habitats are well known for their species richness, and the Burns' ecological wealth owes a lot to the region's thin, free-draining organic soils and the mild, wet climate. But the biodiversity of the Burn also reflects generations of serendipitous farming practice. The main grazing season is wintertime, when many plants are dormant, and thanks to the rugged terrain there is minimal recourse to the use of destructive fertilisers, chemicals and machinery which have elsewhere obliterated our once rich natural heritage. Among the burns a stellar array of flowers, a few specialities stand out. The spring gentian with its cool blue propeller-shaped flower is a burn icon, a widely used symbol of the region's unique flora. Another speciality, the mountain avens, is admired for its beauty in carpeting rocky grasslands and for its distant Arctic origins. The burden's many orchids, with their intricately shaped and coloured flowering spikes and evocative titles. Bee, fly, butterfly, frog, leopard, are another botanical highlight. But it is the diversity and effusiveness of the burden flora that marks its true significance, rather than the presence of any rare or unusual species. Fragrant summer pastures sport the yellows of ladies' bedstraw, bird's foot trefoil and goldenrod, the blues of harebell, milkwort and scabious, the whites of squinancywort, eyebright and grass of parnassus the pink and purples of cranesbill, wild thyme and knapweed, a captivating cocktail of colour and smell. These densely packed grasslands, heaths and wetland habitats not only stimulate the senses, they also provide food and shelter for an impressive array of animal life. Over 70 species of land snails savour the diversity of these calcium-rich habitats, as do most of Ireland's 30 native butterfly species, and a number of moths, including the rare burn green, and several members of the black and red-hued burnet moth family. Mammals such as red squirrels, pine martens, stoats, foxes and hares are quite common, while large herds of pungent feral goats tease the tourist and torment the farmer in equal measure. Over 100 species of birds nest here, including the spectacular peregrine falcon, the fastest bird of prey in the world. Over the past few decades in Ireland, many people have lamented the fact that our countryside has become increasingly uniform, simplified and denuded of its biodiversity, bar a few fragmented hotspots. This makes the burn, where such an exuberance of life and diversity still prospers, even more special a treasured repository of natural heritage, a place to celebrate the wonders of nature in its many forms.